Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. It is always enjoyable to end your meal with a beautiful dessert. It wraps up dinner nicely with this finishing touch. Although I don't have a sweet tooth, occasionally I do appreciate a good dessert. There's one that most people order when they go out and now with this video you'll be able to enjoy it at home. In today's episode I'll show you how to make my tiramisu. This classic Italian dessert is filled with many subtle layers of flavor. This is the perfect dessert for a special occasion when you're hosting a dinner party. This tiramisu will be the star of the show. So my friends, let's get cooking! So in a medium bowl, we'll combine boiling water with instant espresso coffee. We'll stir the ingredients until the coffee granules are completely dissolved. To this, we'll add the Tia Maria, quickly stir and set aside for now. I don't like to push a product, especially when I'm not paid for. But I have to say that this brand for instant espresso coffee is just beautiful. Alright, enough said. Next, in a double boiler over medium heat, we'll place the egg yolks and whisk for a few seconds before adding the sugar, which at this point we'll have to whisk constantly. The mixture will get quite thick, so when it gets to this point, we'll add about half of the Marcella wine and keep whisking until it gets smoother. We'll add the rest of the wine and whisk until tiny little bubbles form on top, but also when the mixture thickens. A word of warning, we'll whisk for a good 12 to 15 minutes if it's not longer, as long as we get a consistency that looks like this, smooth, thick, with tiny bubbles formation on the surface. When we get there, barely feeling our arm, we'll remove from the heat and let it cool completely. Our next step is to make whipped cream. So in a bowl of a stand mixer, which by the way, the bowl and the whisk are very cold. Put them in a freezer for 5 to 10 minutes. We'll pour cold heavy cream and we'll whisk until stiff peaks form, but don't overmix, otherwise we'll end up with butter. While it's whipping, we'll add vanilla and keep mixing. You know when there's too many things going on at once and you know you forgot something? Well, my girlfriend called me on my cell and David on a home phone, plus I was videotaping this recipe. And I knew I forgot something. Well, I forgot to add the sugar, but luckily I cut it in time. So please add the sugar and the heavy cream at the same time. A few minutes later, our whipped cream is ready, so we'll set aside for now. Back to the egg mixture, which was transferred in a large mixing bowl, we'll add the mascarpone and mix until well combined. Some recipes say it's okay to use cream cheese. No, it's not okay. Cream cheese is too sour for this recipe. And other recipes suggest to use ricotta. Please don't. Ricotta is too grainy. I know mascarpone is expensive, but you want the real deal here. You want to make an authentic Italian tiramisu. And once that mixture is nice and smooth, we'll go ahead and add the whipped cream. So we'll gently fold it into the cheese mixture. We don't want to deflate our whipped cream. And we'll keep doing this motion until it's all in and nicely blended. Now we're ready to assemble our tiramisu, so we'll dip our lady fingers in the espresso mixture for a few seconds. You don't want to let them sit too long, otherwise they will soak up too much and get soggy. So after we quickly dip it, we'll place it in a baking dish. I'm using here a 10 by 10 inch square dish. And we'll continue placing them next to each other until the bottom is completely filled. As you can see, I was able to place 14 of them in my dish. Next, we'll scoop half of the mascarpone mixture over the lady fingers and we'll smooth it out. I'm using here an angled spatula, which is another of my favorite kitchen tools. But if you don't have one of these, just use a regular spatula. Then we'll repeat the step adding another layer of lady fingers, followed with the remaining mascarpone mixture. Just before spooning up the cheese mixture, 
we might want to press gently on the lady fingers so they all sit evenly. We'll spread it out and get a nice even layer. We'll cover the dish with either plastic wrap or foil and transfer to the fridge for at least 8 hours. But if you can wait 2 days, this dessert will get better. This is one dish that you can make ahead for a special occasion. When we're ready to serve, we'll place a piece in a serving plate, then we'll put about a teaspoon of unsweetened cocoa powder in a small sieve and dust it over. And my friends, this is our tiramisu. This decadent classic Italian dessert is sure to please everyone. With beautiful layers of yumminess, this scrumptious tiramisu is delectably delicious. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a perfect dessert to serve for a special occasion. And if you don't have a special occasion, then just create one. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time my friends, bon appétit!